Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> So today I'm going to be getting ready, I'm just going to be putting makeup on while answering your assumptions about me, Assum assumptions, yeah. I've got them written down on pieces of paper because I can't use my phone, not that high tech yet. I asked you guys to send me an assumptions via my Instagram, little plug, follow my Instagram, Emily Bardsley. I did that quite a while ago now and I kind of wasn't even going to film this but then someone commented on one of my other videos, when are you doing the assumptions video? So I thought I should do it. I didn't realise until I was writing them down that I actually got so so many and I don't know if I'm going to get through them all but we will see. I kind of want to leave my hair down because it looks really nice. But I like need to tie it up. I'm going to turn into Jessica. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. Oh, I need to wet my beauty blender. Okay, let me go do that. Hang on, I'll be back. I'm back. So the first assumption today is you have friends called Jessica and Luella. Um, no, I don't. I like know of a couple Jesses. I think. I definitely don't know any Luellas. And that is why I chose those names. I'll tell you why I chose the names. When I did my first Jessica video, if any of you somehow don't know what I'm on about, go to my TikTok, Amelie of 2.0. When I did my first Jessica video, honestly, I just had to come up with a name there and then. And I don't know why, but Jessica just popped into my head. And then it stayed and now she's called Jessica. Luella, I know other people do this, so like, I'm not the only one if anyone thinks it's weird, but I have a list of baby names on the notes in my phone, and I love the name Luella, and Luella is one of them. I just picked the name Luella. So now, if I have a daughter, I don't know if I'm going to call her Luella, because that would be a little bit weird. I don't have a friend called Marcel either, and at the time, I didn't know anyone called Abby, but now I do know someone called Abby, so it's a little bit weird, but you know what? It's cool. Okay, next one. You are a chav in real life. No not at all my mum calls me a chav sometimes when i have my hair like this at least i don't think i am okay so i put this all in with a beauty blender and now i'm gonna go with a brush and just like go over it i don't it's just something i do the next one is you hate the brits and then they said no hate you're my idol um thank you very much that is really cute some people don't really like it but I love it so, so, so much. If you don't know what they mean, they mean the Brit school. It was the best decision I've ever made, really. Hopefully I can go back soon because I miss it. The next one is, you're like Luella as a person with like 5% Jessica. I would say that is quite accurate. Sorry, whoever said that, I didn't write down names. Whoever said that, I think you've got me to a T. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Like I've said in a few of my videos, at the minute, I'm kind of doing my eyebrows with eyeshadow, even though I usually do them with a pencil. But today I'm going to do it with a pencil. This is MAC, and I don't know what shade it's in. Lingering. And the next one is You're Wealthy. I got You're Wealthy, You're Rich, Rich, You're Born Into a Rich Family, Rich about that many times no when anyone gets this kind of assumption they're always like no not at all like i'm not rich whatsoever i'm not rich if i was rich who knows what i'd be doing this is yeah okay so i've just been called down for food with half an eyebrow on i've got to go but i'll come back <laughs> okay i'm back my lips suddenly look really pink Okay, what was I doing? Eyebrows. What was I talking about? Rich, wealthy. Here's your answer. In this next clip, I did say an answer, but after thinking about it, it's not fair to say, so I'm not gonna put it in. Generally, I'd say I'm very lucky to be in the situation that I am in. Next one is, you don't like school, also love you. Love you too. I really like school right now. Obviously, there's annoying, bad, stressful things about school you'll know that if you watched my year 11 video but overall i really like school especially at the minute the next one is you might not look it but you are very very in capitals you are very kind and responsible i like to think i am i always find myself being the mum of the group but sometimes i'm not sometimes i'm not but yeah i'd like to think i'm kind and responsible and I have been told I am before. The next one is, you are actually a raccoon. <sighs> you found me out. Yeah, I'm a raccoon. I'm just gonna do my other eyebrow and then I'll carry on speaking. Okay, that's fine, that'll do. Now I'm going to carve them with this concealer that I actually bought the other day. It's this e.l.f. concealer. Why did I do that? 
The next one is, you really want to be TikTok famous? Well, I mean, it would be nice. Next one is, Brit changed you as a person. Yeah, definitely, but not in a bad way whatsoever. Most people, if not everyone, says that Brit changes them for the better. It just brings you out. I'm not looking at you doing this because I've got a mirror right here. The next one is, you sometimes get bored by doing your TikTok, also love you and your work. Thank you very much. I don't get bored doing it, it just takes a lot of effort to do it. It just takes a lot out of like my time. And this is why it's good doing it in lockdown, because you know, everyone has time. And they just take a while and I need to get ready for them and use all this makeup and film them. And if it's a long one, I need to edit it. Then if it doesn't do well, it's just frustrating. No, I don't get bored doing it. I really enjoy doing my TikToks. No, I don't get bored at all. The next one, quite similar, is you don't like filming the LJM series, which is Luella Jessica Marcel. And then in brackets, love you by the way, love you too. It's a very similar answer as well. No, I don't not like it. I really, really love it. And I'm so grateful to what I've got out of it. And it's actually what I said in the last answer. I don't not like it at all. It just takes a lot and then it's frustrating if it doesn't get good reactions. Then with the excess that I have on my hand, I just put it in the concealer places. I do this with concealer and I don't know why, but I just do it. So just let me be, okay? The next one is, you are not religious. Wow, you just read my mind. You yeah, know, I'm not. I respect and support everyone else, that is. I've got nothing against it, but I am not religious. The next one is, your actual name is Luella. I mean, who knows? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, you'll never know. And like I did with the foundation, I should go over it like this. The next one is, you we standing up. Um, I'm sure you'll be pleased to hear that I don't. So now I'm going to use the, I'm going to use this Chanel powder. This has a bit of colour in it as well. So this is why I really like this one. Because it's a good matting powder. Uh, and it has colour in it as well. So the next one is, you have met up with your friends in quarantine when you weren't meant to. When we were in lockdown and we weren't supposed to see anyone, I stayed inside. Unlike some people, we're meeting up with their friends every day and completely breaking the rules but I didn't and if you follow me say on TikTok you'll know that I was getting very frustrated but I stayed inside entirely. I went out a few times to go to the post office and that was literally it, never even met anyone and even that was like way later on in the lockdown. Then when we were allowed to meet one person I didn't for ages and then I did meet one person and we had a little like social distance meet up. And then I met one more person a few days later as well. And then when you're allowed to meet six people, I didn't meet six people. And like a week or two had passed and I met up with two of my friends. And that was really nice. And now we're trying to do that every Sunday. And as the rules are easing, you know how you're allowed to bubble with someone. And on the 4th, you're going to be allowed to stay around someone's house. So all of the rules are easing up. The other day I met four people. Uh, to answer that, no, I haven't been meeting my friends when I'm not supposed to be because I follow the rules. The next one is, you started your TikTok characters as a joke. Love your videos. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I did start them as a joke. And then obviously it just turned into more. And then I just carried it on. They just popped off, didn't they? If I had a pound for the amount of people that have a bio that says, this started as a joke and now I'm addicted, I would be rich, then I would be rich. So uh, I think everyone's like, yeah, like, it's just a joke. Next, I'm going to get my Bobbi Brown bronzer and just use this like egg shaped brush. And with this, I kind of go all over my face a bit so that it matches my tan, but then I use it as bronzer as well. I'm just like evening it out. The next one is, you like Chinese food? Well, I'm vegetarian, so I can't have much of it. But if we ever get Chinese, which isn't that much, I literally have like egg fried rice and chips. And that's really nice. But you know when you like, I get this with like McDonald's and all of this stuff. You know when you eat food and it's really nice when you're eating it, but then after you're like, oh, that wasn't worth it. 
it's kind of like that if you said to me amy do you want to cook yourself a meal or do you want to get chinese i'd say i want to cook myself a meal thank you very much next one is billy elliot didn't pay you so if you don't know when i was 11 i was in a west end musical called billy elliot someone assumed that they didn't pay me um they did of course they did next one is you can sing sure yeah i can sing i study musical theater so should i sing for you now I was a girl in the village doing all right. Then I became a princess overnight and I gotta figure out how to do it right. So much to learn and see. The next one is you would never go for road men. Um, depends on your preference. Road men, all road men are different. So some boys call themselves road men and they're not. Some are like scary hours and I wouldn't even approach them it just depends if you know them it's just about the person personally and like i said there's many different types of road men some are dangerous and some are fake next i'm gonna use this bobby brown blusher and it's a blush duo but i use the really pink one the next one is you have a specific type i always speak to like my friends about this when people are like oh i don't have a type you're lying everyone has a type do you know what i mean when you think of being with someone you you have an image in your head everyone has some sort of image in their head and that's like your type so i would say yeah i have a type and it's a really basic one but and this like can be proven i, I might as well say i don't have one because like i have one but i don't stick to it i wouldn't stick to it you know this is like when people say looks or personality everyone's first impression is looks but when you get to know someone and find out their personality it's a completely different story so i'd say yeah i have a specific type but i don't stick to it whatsoever i need to start shooting through these next one is you are a virgin well done got that one right next one is you were really popular in school okay in my last school <laughs> no not at all i would say because i mean i went into the school where about half of the year no over half of the year knew each other somehow and i knew no one at all because when i went into year se into year seven that's when i did billy elliot so everyone like knew of me it was like oh that's that girl that's like in the show so everyone knew of me but n not even when i left was i i popular in my school now i think and if you ask anyone in my school there's not ranking i would say you know, there's not, there's obviously quieter people, louder people, that kind of thing, but I, no one's popular. Next one is, your favourite character to play on TikTok is Luella. I would like to say my favourite character to play is Jessica, because she's way funnier, and I just love playing her. So yeah, my favourite character to play on TikTok is not Luella, actually. The next one is, you have a TikTok crush. I'm so out of the loop with TikTok. I don't know who anyone is. I don't have a TikTok crush. Actually, I found this guy on TikTok the other day and I thought he was really fit. And I followed him and he hasn't noticed me so he's not followed me back yet. But no, I don't have a TikTok crush. Next one is, you have had loads of boyfriends because you are so pretty. Thank you very much. Um, I've never been in a relationship ever. I've never had a boyfriend. Next one is, you are Jessica in real life. I hope not, to be honest. I'm not. Next, I'm going to put on a very, very little, weeny little bit of highlighter on. For this, I'm going to use one from this eyeshadow palette. Next one is you are a mix of Jessica and Luella. Yep, that's correct. I wouldn't say it was 50-50. I'd say I'm a somewhat mix of them both. That other assumption was pretty accurate. Next one is you're dating your boy best friend. Um, no. I know it looks like it because any of my boy friends friends that are boys that i'm really close with it could very easily look like i was going out with them because of how close we are but no i'm not going out with my boy best friend and then i'm just gonna blend it all in with my big brush the next one is how many times have i said the next one is today there are certain celebrities you have looked up to your whole life i think there's probably been one or two i've consistently been inspired by i couldn't name them for you now i'm really bad at that being put on the spot but yeah i'd say there are and there have been the next one is you have a stepdad um not that i know of next i'm gonna get these eyelashes this is an empty box but it's these ones these ones are literally from amazon so if you just type in like fake lashes you can probably find them um i think they're odds so i think i've cut one shorter than the other one but i'm just gonna leave it how it is and i'm gonna get my two sets of tweezers and my oh i painted one side of these with nail polish don't ask why and my eyelash glue this is the only good eyelash glue it is the duo 
duo eyelash glue. The next one is You Are Really Smart. I definitely used to be smarter, which is kind of sad, but I'm not stupid, but I'm not really smart. I say I'm bright. I guess I'm bright. I'm in like top sets apart from one thing. I definitely used to be smarter. I kind of went downhill, but what can we do? Not that it matters anyway. Never sat my GCSEs. Then I just wait for it to dry a little weeny bit because I'm not patient enough to sit here and let it fully get tacky. Next one is, you were planning on going to Summer in the City 2020. Yeah, my ticket's literally over there. I was gonna go on Saturday and Sunday and I'm gonna go next year, definitely. So if you wanna meet me, come to Summer in the City 2021. Now I'm just gonna put it on my eye. And then I just sort it out. The next one is, you prefer TikTok over Instagram and Snapchat? No, not particularly. I like TikTok, but I don't prefer it. Ah. You know when that happens? So annoying. I like TikTok for just sitting there and scrolling through videos. And obviously that's where I've got my platform from. So, and I'm very thankful for that. I like Snap because I like the way you can communicate with people. And I don't know, seeing what people are doing. But I'm very bad at opening messages on it. So I'm sorry to all of my friends that I don't open messages from instagram oh i love insta i think it can be quite a toxic place as well though but i love instagram i take pride in my insta love creating a nice feed <gasps> where's the other one gone don't oh it's here i don't know how it got there next one is we're on to the last page. Okay, I can slow down now. I will definitely be able to answer all of these assumptions. The next one is you only become internet friends with whoever has around the same amount of fans. I don't really have internet friends, it's kind of sad. Like internet friends that I do have, I'd say I'm only, I'm pretty close with about one, maybe two internet people. I'm friends with a few and me and, other ones like know of each other i think but i don't really have many internet friends at all so i just find it hard to become really good friends with someone over the internet like i have done it before i have become very good friends with someone over the internet but then i have met them a couple times now i'm just very bad at starting combos and all of that and putting myself forward for it so the next thing i'm about to do i don't always do this oh, the corners don't look good but I'm not going out, I'm just, it's literally, what is the time right now? I don't know, what is the time? Let me check the time. It is 9.50, so it's 10 to 10 in the evening, and I'm doing this. But it's just because I've got things to film, I always film things at night time. Sometimes when I want to look nicer, I do, I do more on my eyes, but I'm not going to do that today. I will put mascara on later, but I'm just waiting for this glue to dry properly. So like I said, I won't always do this, but I'm going to line my lips. The next one is, you think going Brit school can be very challenging? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is challenging and it definitely can be challenging in many different aspects. I have Oh my god, look at this lip. I think especially if you are in key stage four, the main challenge is keeping up with your coursework along with your academic work. I don't know what it's like in sixth form because I haven't started that yet. Guys, I have a virtual induction day soon. I'm actually so scared. I'm so scared. So yeah, I think it... I think it has its challenges that normal schools have but then it also has a lot of challenges because it's a brit school if you want to know more about the brit school go and look on my channel i have so many videos about brit and i'll keep making more if you have any video suggestions that you want me to make drop them in the comments or dm me or comment it on any of my social medias and i'll probably see it and i'll make it next one is oh well, there's a couple more, but I actually wrote them down accidentally. I accidentally repeated them. So that's that, that was actually the last one. There's no more. All I've got left to do is, where is my mascara? Oh, there it is. Some of my top lashes. There's people screaming outside. Go home. I actually want to see. They've been, I'm, I'm looking at who's outside. They've been screaming for ages now. Shut up. There is definitely a party somewhere. And that is against lockdown rules. I can't see where it is. <laughs> I'm also gonna put some mascara on my bottom eyelashes. Can you hear them screaming? Bloody hell. 
what are they doing? And I can't, like, it literally sounds like they're outside my house, but I can't see anything. And then I'm just going to put on some lip gloss. I'll either wear, like, a plain one like this or a glittery one like this. But I'm just going to wear a glittery one because why not? But, yeah, that was me answering your assumptions and getting ready. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope everyone's okay and doing well. If you have any video suggestions, like I said, make me notice in some sort of way. Thank you for watching. Bye! Yeah, it all started with a little square tab to pass through bad days. Found a really calm beach, blue sands and flat waves when exploring for the...